Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is San. This is a reading today for Taurus. There are no dates on my readings. I trust that when they find you, if they resonate, then they're yours at that time. Taurus, I've done your reading with my Light Seer's Tarot deck, gorgeous deck. So, your reading today, Taurus, is quite intriguing. I don't understand it completely. I don't understand it at all, actually. It's quite obscure and perhaps very symbolic, metaphoric maybe. So it may take a bit of uh, interpretation on your end to really see how this could fit into your circumstances, but I'll do my best to pull it out in a way that is understandable. So, I mean, I love these kinds of readings, right? They always, they're so intriguing. So, we begin here with the world card, and this is you, Taurus, completely in this spectacular, full-blown, fully charged manifestation. It's like you're in this amazing, amazing peak place. You've come, something's come to full fruition, full circle, full manifestation. The Six of Wands coming after it, it feels to me like you're really incredibly successful in something currently. Something has really gone exceptionally well, maybe better than you expected. The Six of Wands, there could be a lot of, of eyes on you. I'm actually getting that there's a lot of light. It's like you're being lit up. All this, I'm being drawn to all this light in the top and then and then this here. It's like it's like all of this, you're being illuminated, you're being highlighted. You're being pointed out, perhaps, by the universe. The universe is drawing attention to you, it, using you as an example, perhaps, maybe. So, but the this is where it gets intriguing to me, because the next card out is the Eight of Cups, which is you walking away, right? So... I'm seeing this as, I'm loving how this world card is so um, dynamic because how it's coming through today for you is, again, it's like this is you, this is your, this is your experience at the moment, is you uh, maybe in the spotlight, in the lens, and in, in the focus, right? It's like all eyes on you and you're wanting to or you are walking away from that. This bowl here is this... You're putting this down or you have this strong desire to put down this focus on you and completely escape or walk away with the Knight of Swords next. It's like you couldn't get out of there fast enough. You're really wanting to get away from the attention. Perhaps if it's not that, if it's not like a lot of eyes or a lot of tension on you, it's like whatever situation that you're in, Perhaps, perhaps what the eyes on you aspect is of it, it's like everybody else is, is, is thinking it's, it's exceptional. You're doing a, a great job. You've got a really good life. So from the outside, perhaps looking in from the outside, looking in, it looks like you've got everything yet you're walking away. Taurus running away. You're running away. You want to get away. You're moving away. But the chariot coming next, what I'm seeing here is this knight of swords with you escaping or wanting to escape, or you do, you leave, you choose a new path, you make a new choice, and then the chariot is like it's bringing you right back is what I'm seeing. And then the hierophant here. The hierophant. It's like I'm seeing this like you going out and you're being scooped. It's almost like the, the universe circumstances outside of your control are guiding your path and you end up exactly where you started is how it's coming through. And this is what I'm talking about. I don't completely, completely understand this, but it's like you seem to be really trying to move on from something and yet you keep finding yourself right back in it. There's something here about like these, these faces are almost the same as laughter. It's almost, it's almost maybe a little bit humorous to you, Taurus, that it's like, here I am again, right back where I started. 
but actually there's something here about about it's not quite where you started the ace of swords coming next i'm really fascinated with this the staircase in the back okay so this is you this is you running away taking off beelining it up the staircase out of there and this is this looping back around it's like you think that you're on this this exit path you're you're out but it's it's actually like the path is looping back around again but the message here is that you're not you're not exactly in the same place. It feels similar to you, but you know, a spiral is not a circle. It is, it is rising, right? It is, it is, even though it's coming back around to a similar spot, it is up higher or in a higher timeline or a higher vibration. There is a difference to it. It's not identical, but it feels similar enough to you that you're like, are you kidding me? I'm right back where I started. But it's interesting because there's it's the Hierophant energy, which is the Taurus, which is the Taurus card. But it's also kind of a little bit what I was talking about here about like being in, being an example. You're being highlighted as an example. There's another highlight, another spotlight shining on you. You're being utilized or your part of your purpose maybe Taurus is to be an example or a leader or a teacher or a way shower a way shower it's like you're the you're you're trailblazing perhaps you're trailblazing so that's fascinating it's like you're blazing this new trail but there is this this energy of kind of looping back around, though slightly different, more elevated. Each time you come around, it is more elevated, but it's so that the others can see your progress or see what you're doing. It's something like that. It's like, because it needs to be witnessed or it needs to be seen. So you can't just completely be gone. You have, there's something significant about that you need to be viewable so it could also be partly that you know you maybe you're you've moved into um some success that's really drawing a lot of public attention maybe you're really in the public eye and you're trying to get away from it maybe you it's like you don't want to be seen but it's like you can't seem to get away from it you can't seem to completely escape it so there's something significant about you being seen, it's in, it's important that you be witnessed or seen or be an example or be a way shower or a leader. So, so you can never completely escape the other's awareness of what you're doing because you, it's like you have this strong desire to be out in front perhaps because you are the leader, you are the way shower. And it's like, you don't necessarily want to be aware of all of the attention on you. You just want to be moving forward. But something keeps drawing your awareness back to all the others, maybe. So, the star, the star, Taurus. It seems to be like you are, there's a lot of message here about kind of being in the limelight or being an example or being, being the star. But... I mean, that's just one interpretation of the star energy about it. like you actually being a star or being highlighted. But what I'm seeing here actually is more about this trailblazing energy. It's talking about that you are following this call to move forward when every time, every time you leave it behind and you move forward, it's actually because you're being called that way. There's an, there's an energy, there's a purpose that it's your destiny to keep moving you know, it's like you're connected, you're, you're tethered to this potential, this ever shifting, ever evolving potential. And so you're always going that way. You're always, you're always moving that way to others may not understand it because it's like you establish a good life for yourself. Everything is really flowing and abundant and successful around you. And then yet you 
have this constant desire to move on to do the next thing, ever moving, ever changing. Interesting because it's so not the Taurus energy that people would describe as Taurus, but that's not significant here. There's so many other elements and things to consider when we're talking about, we're doing a general reading for Taurus. I mean, Taurus is one aspect of your entire chart. So to, to say that, I don't like to stereotype signs into specific traits or characteristics because we're all incredibly dynamic. So Taurus, you are a trailblazer and is part of your destiny, part of your calling to keep moving. So even though your life is, is what others would say is abundant, successful, you've reached your goals, you, you know, everybody would describe you as having it all perhaps, yet you easily walk away is what I'm seeing here because the Nine of Cups, the Emperor, and the Tower card coming out next. It's like Nine of Cups and the Emperor is, that's all the energy of, of having it all, right? The Nine of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment. It's a really strange, a really strange image though. I think it's the first time it's appeared in a reading it could be interpreted as, as like having reached the golden age and like a golden era in your life, everything that you could ever desire. But I'm actually seeing it as releasing it. It's like this release point. And the emperor, of course, being the emperor is like having the, the entire empire, being at the helm, being the king of kings, having it all. And then the tower energy, it's like all of this having it all, yet intentionally choosing to walk away, to create a tower moment, to knock it all down in a sense. It's like, it's like he's taking, he's, I mean, it's like, because the game is over, it's like I'm seeing him take his chess piece here and just wipe the whole board clean. It's like, I'm done with this. I'm done with this game. It's over. Checkmate, maybe. It's like the end of the game. You don't see the purpose of it anymore. It's like it's reached its fullest potential. What's, there's nothing left to do onward and upwards. Like you just, you, you are designed to keep moving Taurus, no matter what anybody else thinks about it. You may have a lot of people, you know, saying things about that. It's like, there's a lot of this, this idea of others view of you, others opinions of you. I don't really think that there's like judgment. I feel like they're actually really admiring you. They may not understand your decisions, but they admire you. Right. And then it's like, especially every time you reach for the next new potential and give up everything that you've established in order to move towards the next, the next level up in the spiral, the next evolutionary step, they just admire you even more, even though they might not understand it. When they see that, it just creates another another new amazing thing, another new leg of the journey is opened up for everybody. Because this tower, this tower is a fascinating tower. It's like, I'm not even sure what it is that I'm looking at in this card, but it has a lot of information about like, it's trailblazing. For you today, it's absolutely trailblazing. It's like you're calling in this this higher energy, you are being pulled in that direction and doing that. It's like you're laying the foundation, you're laying the, you're creating the trail, you're trailblazing. So six of swords, that's you in constant motion, constant movement to the next thing. Other people see it as walking away or being unsatisfied, leaving something, fleeing something, because you may you may actually do it with a lot of gusto, like this guy, right? Just I'm out of here. I'm out. I'm onward, upwards. I'm going. I'm moving on. So there may be a lot of questioning about like about that, th thinking that you are unsatisfied with with your life, and it's not even that. It's like this insatiable thirst or hunger for new, next, more evolving, expanding. So 
It's like once something is established, there's no reason to be there anymore. It, the, 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 the life force, the vitality is in the creation. Once it's created, once it's created and manifested, it holds, it doesn't hold you anymore. It's like, what's the point? I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to knock the entire tower down and rebuild and create a new one. It's that kind of an energy. But what's fascinating is again, this message is coming up about how you walk away and then the Ace of Cups is coming next and it's talking about this energy of being brought right back again because it's like you're walking away from this cup, which is the world card, right? You in the eye of the storm, in a sense, you in the in the in a lot of people's focus, you as the center of attention, you as the successful one, you walking away and leaving that behind. It's kind of coming through like you it's not it's not really this that you're walking away from this is the thing everybody thinks you're walking away from something but to you it's like no there's something out i'm moving towards this it's like you're not really attached to any of this it's not about needing to escape this like this energy here it was feeling like fleeing but no it's more like eager eager to get to what's on the horizon there's always some new thing calling you and everybody else is like but this is so amazing but you're like no but there's something more over here right so this isn't even in your awareness so there's no attachment whatsoever for you in this energy but when you get to over here it's it's this cup again right it's the it's like you're getting to the to you to you Taurus it feels like you keep coming back around to the same thing maybe what it's talking about is that when you get there it's like the same kind of an experience in that there may be a lot of a lot of attention on you or like it feels similar energetically to you it's like a because it it, it does contain within it a lot of the same elements but there's also this message again about being the example, being on display. So with the Wheel of Fortune and the Seven of Wands, this Seven of Wands beautifully came up in an extended the other day. Was it Capricorn? I can't remember which one. It came up in extended. Same message for you today. It's talking about, well, the Six of Wands being this success point where you're being recognized. And then the Seven of Wands is uh, the other's desiring that right it's like you being the example you being the vision of what when other people dream about what they want to become or want to experience they they picture you and your circumstances what you've achieved is what they're reaching for they desire what you've achieved right and that's part of What's going on here with this wheel of fortune, you standing at the peak at the helm of this wheel of fortune. It's like you are this, and it's interesting because it's like, this is the first time I'm seeing this this way. It's like it's rising up. It's, I've always seen this as maybe a toppling energy, like a the wheel, because it's a stack, it's really precarious. It's like it's going to fall in one way or the other. A, a shift is about to happen with the wheel being being that energy but today it's actually coming through as this rising energy and it's like you're you're blazing the trail up up and i'm just noticing all the clouds it's like you've broken through the stratosphere through the atmosphere and it's like breaking the sound barrier taurus what is going on so it's like you are absolutely creating or like venturing into new territory it's what you're designed to do it is your purpose it is fated to be this way there's no stopping it from happening it's this energy here right it's like you're constantly being called towards this potential right onwards and upwards always 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 but there is an energy here about it's almost like you're looping back around in a sense because the others you can't just be off like a rocket out into the into the cosmos it's like it needs to be witnessed by 
the collective so that they can reach for it, so that they can follow the trail, that kind of an energy. It's like you are an example. You are a teacher, a leader. So, and it's not, it's not completely true. Like you're not looping back around. You're not stuck in anything. You are constantly evolving and it is changing, but there's absolutely this energy of, of circling back around in order to be, it's almost like in order to pick up the others or in order to draw their attention. It's like, it's like you may, you might move out of everybody's uh, uh, eyesight, line of sight, you, it's almost like hermiting in a sense. It doesn't feel like hermiting. It feels like you move so far into the horizon, into the potential that you, everyone loses sight of you for a little while. People might under, not understand what you're doing. It's like a lot of that, Taurus, what is going on? How can you be walking away from this stable life and taking this big risk? And what's the re they, nobody understands it. You're like off the radar. You're off the radar for a short time while you're out there. And then you do come back around where the others can see that you're still you. You're still everything that they desire about what you have and what you are and how you be is still everything it always has been and more. And it just draws them in again, right? It's like, it's just, you're a trailblazer. You're a way shower. And being a way shower requires being witnessed, right? So you're not, it's like you're never going to completely be away from the attention or awareness of others or others being a guide, right? Like being, being the one that people... A lot of people in your life may seek your counsel, your guidance, say, Taurus, how is it that, that you're doing this? Why is it that you're doing what you're doing? How are you doing it? And like asking you a lot of questions and wanting a lot of assistance from you, a lot of, a lot of attention on you. And it's like, you need a break from that every once in a while, as well as just needing to move on to the next energy, the next unfolding. So... It's really beautiful, actually, Taurus. So I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to pull some more cards and see if we can find out anything else. I mean, it feels really complete to me here. It's just this gorgeous, constant evolution and expansion and rising and unfolding. And you are like at the leading edge. So everybody is is following you in a sense. Like, like you are embodying such a high vibration that others are just drawn to it, attracted to it. They want, they want to know how you do it. They want to be like that. They want to, they want to feel like you feel. They want to be ever expanding and ever evolving as well. So I'm going to leave it there, Taurus. Um, if you're interested in the extended link is in the description. If not, I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye.